Welcome back to another tutorial on Power Pivot. This is Trisha Jaktiani, and in this tutorial, I am going to cover two important aspects of Power Pivot. One is creating hierarchy. Second, hiding a particular data from the client tool. Both can be done from the Power Pivot window and is a very, very useful tool to create or perform data analysis using the pivot table. When you want to create a hierarchy in the simple normal pivot table, you use the group method. But that is a little complicated when it comes to using it in the text or uh, data. But this provision is easily available in Power Pivot window. Same goes with hiding a client tool. When I talk about hiding a client tool, if I want to hide any of the data, that is any of these um, headers from the pivot table, I can do that using the Power Pivot window. So both we are going to cover in this tutorial and see how is that useful, where and when we are going to use each of these uh, options and how useful or how efficient it gets by doing this uh, this tools that is available in the power pivot so let's begin and see where i have the data here for the uh, sales or the revenue earned from the particular customers with their location given to me the location includes the continent country region territory city so all these information is available what i need is i if i i need to show this in the hierarchy that means under the continent the country should come under the country, the uh, region should come and so on and so forth. So this can be easily shown using the pivot table. But let's see what happens with the pivot table. I'm going to create a simple pivot table without a data model. And here I can see that a simple pivot table is created. I can always carry the continent, put their country just below that, region below that and so on and so forth. And I can get the result that I want. However, I have to keep doing that, which is a lengthy process. Instead, if I go on and create a group under the uh, power pivot it will automatically show it in the in the group level how let's see that i'm going back to the sales data i'm going to delete this so that we don't get confused as to where is this pivot table coming from and uh, i'm going to delete the other sheet as well if i'm looking at this data i'm going to first add this to the pivot table uh, power pivot model so that is the data model. Once this is added, I can start using my Power Pivot window to create hierarchies. So this is a quick one. Once I have your, you can see the data is automatically picked up. Now what I need to do is go to the diagram view. Because there is only one data, it will only show up one table here. But if you had multiple tables that you want to show, that can also be done. So if you have multiple tables which you are trying to do a create a relationship between the two or three tables and then if you want to show the hierarchy in one of the tables that can also be done very easily now i'm sure you must have become pro in uh, creating relationships uh, we have done so many different uh, 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 tutorials on the relationship so i'm just going to select all of them right click on this and so what i'm selecting is all the region or the location part which is from continent to the city how did i select i selected the first one Pressed on shift from the keyboard and kept on going down using the down arrow key. Right click and say create hierarchy. You will see that a new header is created just below. All the headers are over which is called hierarchy 1. I am going to call this as location. I cannot call it some region or country because it is already available as one of the headers. Now once I have done that I click on OK. Now I can just go back and create. If you go down you will see that all the, the uh, city continent which has come under the hierarchy is showing up here i can go and create a pivot table on the excel and the pivot table will have location as one data and another one which will have the more fields now more fields will have all the fields which were part of the of the data or the table before creating the hierarchy so everything that is there in that table will be available Location will only have the hierarchy data. But what I need to do is I am not very happy with this data because your continent, country, region, territory should only show in the location which is the top hierarchy. Why is it showing in the more field? It should not show up here so that I don't get confused when I am dragging 
the data into these four quadrants. So what will I do is I will hide these four things from my pivot table. How do I do that? I go on to the power pivot window again. And in this window, I will select all the four data. I can do one by one also, but I'm going to select all the four or five data actually. And I will say hide from client tool. You will see that it grays out on this table also. See, it looks a little different from the rest. So these are all grayed out. If you go back now on the pivot table, you can see that that is no more available in your pivot table. It is only showing from the order date and your data in the location is shown your, as your data for the region. Now, if I drag and drop the location and select the revenue from this list. Now, this is the same table, so it is not, I don't have to create any relationships and all. But if you look at this, if I drag and drop it, it automatically say it's North America. It doesn't really give me the whole data. It just gives me North America. If I click on this expand, it shows me the Canada and USA. If I expand further, it shows me the further uh, drop down and so on and so forth. Now this becomes, if I have to expand the data, the way we do in a simple pivot table. What if I do not want to show this data? So, sorry. So if I don't, because I double clicked on it, that's showing me the data here. So it, what if I don't want to see this at all, which is the, uh, the expanded data? I just want to see the drill down, let's say like this. So you can see that when I click on drill down from the pivot table, so I'll show, show again. When I go on to this data, which I want to drill down, what is drill down? If I click on this, it expands. It shows me North America. It also shows me Canada and USA. But if I do not want to do that, I can select North America and go to pivot table analyze or the analyze tab on the top. Click on drill down and here you will only see Canada and USA or the United States. You will not see your North America, which is the first part of the hierarchy. Same thing if I go further down and if I want to drill down further, you can see that it is showing me only for that drill down because I had selected only that particular Canada part. I'm going back to country. So let me show you once more. I'll select United States and say drill down. It will only show me data for United States. The Canada is gone away. Now it is not showing me the data for Canada at all. It's only drilling down to the data which I'm selecting. Now, if I want to get back to the country, I can always say drill up, drill up and say country. You will see that you can also do drill up to the to the continent. You will see if you are drilled drill up, you, that means you are at the first part of the hierarchy. Your drill up is grayed out as and when you drilled it down, your drill up automatically gets highlighted or uh, activated and you can now drill it up the way you want to. Again, I'm going to show it once more when I'm saying United States and say drill down, it is only showing me for that particular data. Drill down further for Southeast and here it is showing me only for Southeast. I'm going to go drill up a little further and you will see that how it is showing me for the data that you need. So this, is become, this becomes very, very useful when you have a data which you want to show as a drill down in your database. You can also show it as a pivot chart later and only see the data for that particular region by using the drill down and drill up method. So this is something which uh, you have seen. And again, I'm just going to go back and show you in the more fields where you do not have the data, you have only the information. If you want to hide more things from your database, it can be simply done by going on to the power pivot window and right clicking on it and selecting the hide from the client tool what i'm going to do is i'm going to go back and say drill up and here you get the drill up options here now not necessary that you're going to get into this where you are not able to make any changes and the rest of the information that you were doing with the pivot table is easily available and you can also see when i'm doing the drill down also it is giving me that revenue also is getting drilled down. That means the revenue is also showing as per the data which is picked up here. If I select both and say drill down, it doesn't work. It always picks up only the first part as for drilling down. 
So you have to be very, very careful when you're selecting which kind of data that you're selecting. If you just want to expand it, I will use this expand button, which is over here so that you are able to see the data for both of them. So you don't miss out on any of these information. Like I said, again, if you want to create a simple uh, pivot chart out of it and then use this drill down or drill up button, that also becomes very, very simple to use this kind of information here. So this was a kind of group selection option, which is already available in the pivot table. But your group selection option that you have in pivot table is a little complicated. And with the text data, uh, it gets a little difficult to group any information. It is more useful when you have the numbers that you want to group or the date that you want to group. With the text, it would be very, very simple if you use the power pivot method to just create hierarchies out of the data that you have. So just be careful what you need to have is you need to have the hierarchies in different columns in order to create the hierarchies for you. So when you have it in a different columns, your table will show all the fields in that particular, uh, uh, your table will show all the fields for that hierarchies separately so that you can select all of them and create the hierarchy from there. Hope you found this useful and you, you can create a, a interactive dashboard from this kind of information that is available with Power Pivot. Keep watching for more of such tutorials on Power Pivot, uh, getting advanced uh, uh, part as well on DAX functions. Thank you for watching.